Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sway, if you're new here. Today's video is going to be a relaxing shower routine. Make sure you guys are subscribed and if you're not, go ahead and click that button and let's hop into it. One of my favorite things to use in the shower are these shower steamers. Since I personally don't like to or don't take a lot of baths, obviously a shower steamer is gonna be the next best thing to a bath bomb. These ones are eucalyptus. I always try to have either eucalyptus hanging up in my shower or a shower steamer like this one because eucalyptus is known to help your body aches and sores and clear up your congestion as well as it just being a really good relaxing feeling. I definitely feel like this is giving you that spa vibe and relaxing feel that you want. So first step is going in with my exfoliating body sponge by Earth Therapeutics. I use it as a loofah slash exfoliation all in one. Right now I'm using my all natural shea butter soap. Uh, my skin is pretty sensitive so this is really soft on my skin as well as moisturizing. And using an exfoliation sponge like this really helps promote collagen by circulating your blood. And then it cleanses away all your toxins and impurities and of course it leaves your skin super soft because you're exfoliating all the dead skin cells away. With exfoliation pads like these, you want to make sure that you're washing them about every other week and that you're switching them out for new ones every so often. Next, I want to go in with this Trader Joe's Brazilian Nut Body Scrub. It is one of my favorite scrubs. I actually just got put onto it. It is really, really moisturizing and it just smells so good. This is an all natural product, so if you are allergic to nuts, I would definitely not suggest this. It also has two different type of plant extracts which makes it super moisturizing like aloe and I feel that it leaves this substance on my skin kind of like a moisturizing substance almost where it feels like you put lotion on or shea butter but you didn't it's already just in the scrub even when you wash it off and I love that this actually has a body butter to go along with it. So this is the Trader Joe's Brazilian Nut Body Butter. It smells exactly the same as a scrub. This is an amazing body butter because it's so moisturizing and I actually like to have both of these in the shower. I use a different moisturizer for when I get out of the shower, but I feel that this really goes well as like a body cream in the shower so your pores are opened up and all the moisture can get inside your pores and really moisturize you. After I put this on all my arms, my legs, across the rest of my body. I like to keep it on for a little bit. Sometimes I either shave or I'll wash my hair. I'll do something else in the shower while that sits for five or 10 minutes. As you guys can see here, I'm taking just a little bit of the body butter and using it as a shaving cream. Honestly, to me, there's no big difference in body butters, lotion, slash shaving creams because they all use the same basic ingredients which is glycerin and some type of moisturizer which obviously my body butter already has and like I said it's all natural ingredients so I will be shaving with that. Next I always like to use my callus remover. Again I'm just putting a little bit of body butter on it so I can get some moisture in there while I scrub it with the callus remover and if you don't have one of these already I'm telling you it's a game changer. I will next be using the Honey Pot Plant Derived Feminine Care. I use this very very limitedly throughout the year just to help maintain you know a healthy down there and a healthy pH balance. They even come with these applicators and they're very very easy to use but I would suggest reading it and looking more into it before you do. Automatically when I get out, I lather myself in coconut oil mixed with a type of moisturizing lotion just so it lathers onto my body better. Moving on to my facial skincare, I like to wash and do all my skincare outside the shower. I'm just going to get my hair and everything out the way with this Spoil Child Spa Headband. So 
So first I like to just start by wetting my face before I actually put on my cleanser. This is the Tasha Rice Water Cleanser. I love rice water. It feels like it really cleanses all my pores, gets out my impurity, brightens my skin, and evens my skin tone. I am in love with K-Beauty products. Korean skincare is honestly just the way to go. Ever since I made the switch over with most of my products, I feel like I have seen a big difference. I will also link a couple more products below that I'm not showing on camera today. If you guys are interested in those, you can find them in the description box down below. But next, I will be going in with Peter Thomas Roth. This is a microdermabrasion cleanser. Now this is going to be exfoliating my skin literally micro beads exfoliating my skin you can feel it but it's very gentle and it gets out all your whiteheads your blackheads and of course all the dead dry skin on the first layer In this next step, I will be going in with my PMD Skin Spatula. It's called the Wave Pro. I actually just started using this product not too long ago and I definitely see that it makes a difference. I like to use it as an extracting and a facelifting tool, but you can also use it to place your products and serums on so they can get deeper into your skin. I'm going to be wetting my face because anytime you're doing extractions, you want to have water where you're doing your extractions so that way it doesn't leave any marks or blemishes. And I'm also going to go in with my Time Revolution Essence Water. This is rice fermented. It's really good for your skin. And I'm going to place it on with just the regular water while I'm doing the extractions. I typically just have buildup around like my nose creases and on top of my nose and a little bit on my chin. So that's the main place that I focus on, but, but you could also do pinpoint extractions, which is what the two circles for on the side. I'm again going to be going in with this PTR 24K gold mask. I am in love with this mask. I use it all the time. I always stock up on it. I feel like personally this is an instant appearance mask to me because once you take it off, you do have this instant glow. Your skin is super, super moisturized and you look like you just got out of getting a professional facial done. While I let this sit, I'm going to prepare to put my lip mask on, which is why I'm just scrubbing my lips with a towel to get all the dead skin off. Before I place on the lip mask, which is a moisturizer used with hydraulic acid and shea butter. So after leaving the mask on for about 20 to 25 minutes, I'm going ahead and remove it by washing my face and washing my lips. Going back in with this Time Revolutions fermented rice water, it's so good for your skin. Obviously you guys can see that my bottle is almost empty. It's great for dull skin, pimples, and uneven skin tone and just overall collagen reproduction. I use the Topicals Faded Skin Cream to use on my hyperpigmentated blemishes. And then directly after that, I'm going to go in with my serum slash moisturizer by Augustinus Bader, which is another K-Beauty product. Um, it's really good for moisturizing and cellular renewal. It's great for hyperpigmentation and it's also a retinol. It is definitely more on the expensive side, but it is a great cream, especially if you're having a long night and you don't want to lather on 50 million different serums. This is definitely an all-in-one and it is super repairing in a way that it stimulates the skin's natural process of rejuvenation. You can see here that I'm again going in with the PMD spatula and this time I'm actually using the EMS technology to sculpt my face. EMS stands for electric muscle stimulation. And what it's doing is sending electrical signals, triggering contractions, which in turn tightens your muscles. And with repeated use, leaves long lasting effects, which is why I really like to use this as a face sculptor rather than maybe a jade stone. I 
hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time